road somewhere. I can't remember exactly where he wrote it. But in Europe, dawn is a process. In the East, it is an event. I commend to YouTube viewers Burgess's Brunei novel, Devil of a State. It's out of print, of course, like so many of his very great novels. This is the single best novel of the young state of Brunei. And the centerpiece of the novel is the building of this mosque. great deal of marble used in the construction of this mosque, worked upon by father and son team Nando and Paolo Tasca. You will remember in a recent episode of In Search of Anthony Burgess, we visited Aylston, a suburb of Leicester. While Burgess was in Aylston, he applied for a number of positions and accepted a job, a teaching job here in Brunei, which is a sultanate in northern Borneo. And it was from his experiences working here that he produced his Brunei novel, Devil of a State. We are in Brunei town, or Bandar Seri Begawan, as it is now known. Very few of the buildings of Burgess's time remain, but uh, these kinds of shop houses are and were the norm. Anthony Burgess on Brunei. A kind of 
prison. Walled in by sea and jungle. Burgess writes in Little Wilson and Big God. There was a single street of shops run by Chinese which sold long playing records and old copies of the Daily Mirror Weekly. It's still a little like that. with CDs or DVDs substituting for LPs and the internet substituting for Daily Mirror Weekly. But it's the same kind of scenario that Burgess outlines. A rather restrictive kind of place. Perhaps that's why he called it a prison. He felt confined here, being as he was some distance from centres of intellectual or commercial activity, being a long way from Singapore, from Peking from centers of civilization. September 1958, exactly one year after that, September 1959, is when Anthony Burgess collapsed in the classroom. just been inside the, the mosque and the attendant very kindly showed me the marble flooring in the interior. <clears throat> I'm reporting on my visit to the interior of the mosque because photography is not allowed within the building. He pulled up the carpet for me and showed me that the 
the floor of the mosque is just like this. Now, Anthony Burgess mentions in his autobiography that Paolo and Nando Tasca uh, created marble flooring with a pattern on it, but that does not appear to be the case. I asked if the flooring came from Italy. The attendant indicated that it did not, but he said the some of the marble walls, which are beautifully cut, are Italian. So I don't know if there's been a bit of artistic license there from Burgess. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time, or indeed the 5,000th time, that he has employed a little artistic license. describes the people of Brunei as very courteous and amiable and I think that is a correct assessment of the problem for Burgess in Brunei was, I think, the sense he had that he was being treated poorly. He classed his own position as that of uh, inclusion among the poor whites, given a PWD house next to Australian road builders 